Hi again. I just wanted to talk briefly about what we've been doing to Halloween 2024 in the last few weeks. Uh, we've gone over this several times before, but I'm just going to uh, give you a brief update uh, because we've added quite a lot. For example, in the uh, render and OBJ file uh, uh, filter, we've added some things like OpenGL wireframe. Uh, we've done some dramatic uh, speed improvements so that uh, you can pretty much work in uh, real-time shading most of the time uh, without a lot of problems. Uh, we've added default materials uh, so that if you open an object that doesn't have uh, an MTL file, you will get still some kind of shading instead of just a black object. Uh, we've improved compatibility quite a bit with uh, the OBG, OBJ fo format um, and things like that uh, we've been working on quite extensively. Uh, this is a fairly... Uh, large object and I'm able to work with it interactively with no big problems uh, but if you need to you can still go to uh, wireframe mode or the uh, the, uh, the OpenGL modes if you really want to uh, but those are some of the things that are coming there uh, some new options to uh, load verbatim or centered or placed on the ground uh, you can log to the error console the uh, the file is being parsed so you can get some information about the number of polygons and vertices and that sort of thing. Uh, all very useful. Uh, we've made changes to the uh, painter's color wheel. Uh, it is now possible to change the number of entries in the, the wheel. Uh, there is, uh, this is all saved uh, between instances. If you shut the program down, it'll remember all these settings for you. Uh, we've added locks for all of the individual uh, color harmonies. Uh, you can change uh, lock these so that these uh, the, these items don't change. When you uh, when you select colors, so um, those are some of the things that are coming there. Uh, we've added reticles in a number of places. Um, for example, the uh, the color picker on the uh, the sidebar itself has gained reticles. Uh, we've updated the mixer with some new icons, uh, so some new uh, things. We we fixed some bugs as well. Um, we've updated the gradient tool, so when you create a gradient now, there is uh, dithering. Uh, that helps reduce banding in the gradient, among other things. Uh, there is uh, new line tool capabilities. Uh, let's see. So now when you use the line tool, uh, the uh, line fill, the inner size, is the percentage of the object itself. So if you use 90%, that'll fill most of the shape. If you use like 10%, that'll fill just a tiny part of the shape. Uh, we've changed the end caps quite a bit so now that they're calculated accurately and they look nicer and that sort of thing. So those are just some of the things coming there. Uh, let's see. Let's say we have some kind of image and we want to sample colors from it. Uh, you can see now that the color picker tool has gained quite a lot of new capabilities. There's uh, uh, the information there at the top of the screen instead of hidden away in the info panel. Uh, the sample size is now arbitrary up to 100 pixels. Uh, and most importantly, there's now the uh, shift click option to just uh, shift click and add uh, colors arbitrarily to a list as many as you like and once you get done there you can use that list as a uh, probably as a, a color picker in and of itself uh, there's some other things you can do with it but that can be a, a useful tool um, as I said, you can use this as a color picker. You can see this now updates the the uh, the other co other color pickers as well. When you uh, click on them like that, 
Uh, we can copy this to the clipboard as web colors or some uh, some other options there for programming or other tasks, that sort of thing. So those are some of the changes coming to the, the color picker tool. Um, I mentioned the line tool as well. There's quite a bit other uh, changes coming as well. Uh, I'll be talking about those in the future. Uh, lots of GUI improvements. For example, the the gradient list drop down now has a uh, visual representation of what the uh, the current gradient is, and there's also a new uh, flip button to uh, reverse that as well. Uh, we've got a new fill settings panel that gives you just the focus of what you're working on it at uh, when you need it. That's the uh, our philosophy, just what you need when you need it. Um, but there are some new changes here coming, like the the preview has been anti-aliased, and some other types of beautification like that. Uh, the contour now shows you a proper representation of what this uh, this uh, number of contour steps actually does. Uh, that sort of thing. Lots of changes we've done there. Uh, patterns are still uh, in there if we need it. Um, and that is that. So uh, lots of little changes. Uh, I think I'll stop for now. You can see there's, of course, lots of uh, visual um, changes as well. But uh, i got to go for now. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later.